From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empey Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Drs. Jack and Rexella Van Empey. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. I don't know about you, but there are certain times in our country that move my heart. And of course, as we were remembering Memorial Day this past week, it really moved my heart. Uh, I'm from a family that's very um, uh, patriotic and this little girl's patriotic here too. And she is standing by the grave of her father. He gave his life defending this country. He was a member of the armed forces. How great to know that she could remember her father. Aren't you happy that we live in this country? I am so grateful that, like I said, I was a, from a family that's very patriotic. I had three uncles in the Army and Navy, and my brother Don was in the Air Force. My brother Bob was a minister. And oh, how great it is to know that we have this country. Jack, you know, we've been in 50 countries. Yeah. Every time I come home, I want to kiss the ground, wouldn't you? It's just so wonderful to live in the United States of America. And we would never want to stop thanking God for those who defended this country. They gave their lives. It hasn't been easy for some families. And we've been in all around the world, 50 countries, and 800 times in church crusades in American Canada, and 254 citywide crusades with 40 million in attendance. And every time I preached on the coming war with Russia, according to the Bible, and you're going to be hearing a little about that. And next week, boy, the vice president warning us, and warning the troops of what's coming and soon. And we need to get ready because the rapture is about to happen and take us home in the twinkling of an eye and the rewards are past us. Oh, what a day is coming. Yeah, I don't know why, Jack. That little girl just blessed my heart. It oh, was yeah, so sweet yeah. to see that picture. Well, my dad was in the Belgian Army. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, okay. If you've been living here, you've been in this Army. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Defending freedom. Oh, I thank God for our country. Well, you know, I'm going to ask Jack to do something that you've heard him do before. But the reason I want him to do it is because within this group of scriptures that he's going to be quoting right now, in fact, there are several, Matthew 24, verses 3 through 17. So many of the things we're going to talk about are in there. The Lord has given us a picture of what will come. And right now it's happening. I want you to pay attention to something as we go through some headlines. They're all happening right now. All happen in May. Most of the ones I have to show you today happen in May. It's right now. And they're all found in Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 to 17. Absolutely. And Would there you are please? 10,385 prophecies. Every one of them is fulfilled. And when that happens, Jesus is about to come. We could go home at any time. You're soon going to hear the words come up hither, and we're going home in 11 one hundredths of a second, and it's called the rapture. I'll have more to say about that well, later. Would you quote that scripture, please, no. Jack, for us? As Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us what shall be the signs of your coming. Jesus said, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be in trouble, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall he deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, shall betray one another. False prophets shall arise, and iniquity shall abound. Hmm. Iniquity shall abound. It's going to get so rotten 
that the world is going to get cold because of it. Yeah. And what happens then? The gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world. And when it is, Christ comes back and sets up heaven on earth. He transfers what's above to the ground. We're going to have a new place of heaven soon, as soon as the rapture takes place. It can all have. Do you know that on August 13th, the Holy Spirit came to me and said, I'm telling you that God the Father has appointed you and Rexella, and I'm anointing the two of you to become those who promote the greatest message in history, the coming of Christ to set up the kingdom of heaven on earth. From now on, you're going to hear this over and over because the rapture is about to occur. And Beth, beloved, I've got unbelievable things to tell you. All Let's right. go ahead. You know, Jake, you emphasize something. Iniquity shall abound. I'm going to get that first uh, word there, iniquity, into this first group of things I'd like for you to see. I've never seen anything like it. And I think you're going to say the same thing. Here we are. Sex assault in the military rising. Do you know what? There were 25,000 assaults in 2018, one year, 2018, going on. 20,500, the estimated number of cases of unwanted sexual contact in the U.S. military last year. A 38% increase from 2016. That's the Army, Navy, Marine, and Air Force. Again, notice it's in May. 7,819, the number of volunteers kicked out of the Boy Scouts since 1944. Raping of, Boy Scouts, you yeah. dirty creeps. Oh, horrible, horrible sexual abuse of children. Huh, McDonald's, a target of lawsuits. More than two dozen women have filed lawsuits against McDonald's or uh, complaints because of sexual harassment. God, I can't believe it. And then travelers to get sex assault warnings. It's a sick world, oh my, Annie. Sick yes. world. Oh, my word. You know, like I said, Jack and I have been in 50 countries. And uh, I would really want to be very much aware of where I am in days like this. Well, Jack and I used to go out for a walk at midnight, you know, in, in a foreign country. We wouldn't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. The sexual assaults. And warnings. Jack, that's one of the big prophecies that we'd see just before the rapture. Just before Jesus comes to set up the kingdom of heaven and earth, the kingdom of the Father, he says, iniquity is going to abound and the love of many Christians will grow cold. Who's committing all this iniquity? The clergy. Now, I'm not going to be too hard on the Catholics because that's only part of it. All these priests raping these little children. And then these kids have to go to these priests for confession. What a tragedy. But wait a minute. There are a lot of good priests. And they have begged the heads of the church to put their names in the paper saying, look, these guys are great. And I think you ought to do it, Pope Francis. Now, let's go on to cancel the churches, the Protestants of the world. I'm not just talking about the Catholics now. 70% of all the Protestant ministers are involved in pornography. Oh. Getting the dirty sex magazines, turning to the pictures, and getting sexual releases by looking at them. Having lust in their eyes. Eyes full of adultery. It's here, but wait a minute. I'm a Baptist boy. Oh, where are the great ones? The news media just carried 10 pages on the Baptist movement, Southern Baptists. My heart's broken. 700 women raped. It's not in Judaism, but the worst is Islam. But listen to me. What's going on out there is a tragedy. Now, there's a religion, and the Bible speaks about false Christ and false prophets. 
we've got 1,700 cults and 2,300 damnable heretical religions. That's almost 4,000 combined. Now, what's wrong with these religions? The Bible says in 2 Timothy 4 to preach the word. Be in season and out season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but they will heap to themselves teachers who will tickle their ears. Some of you guys say, Van Impey, you're too strong. Wait a minute, it says reprove, rebuke, exhort. And that's what I do. And if you don't like it, turn it on the set to someone else. But I'm going to preach God's word until my dying day. We're going to go on here with something else that was in that scripture that he quoted. Do you notice that he said wars and rumors of wars? Now, you know, if you heard Jack Van Hippie before, you know that he has talked about the coming war with Russia and how it leads to the Battle of Armageddon and all of that. Well, this is again the month of May. Let's see how Russia is exerting itself. In new era, yes, Putin punches above his weight. While relatively little investment, the Russian leader is expanding his toehold in the Western Hemisphere. Yes, he is. And then our Secretary of State Pompeo in Moscow seeks to improve our ties. Okay. Well, how about Turkey considering delaying purchase of Russian missile system because the United States has asked them to do this? They want them to put that off. Don't go along with Russia right now. Satellite images show China is building its third and largest aircraft carrier once again the month of May. U.S. jittery about Chinese subs in the Arctic. And we should be. They're expanding too. Beijing slams U.S. warship sail by in, in South China Sea. Oh, my word. Can you believe it? And huh, North Korea fires two short-range missiles. Didn't they say that they were going to kind of put that aside, the ballistic missiles? They're not. The month of May. North Korea's Kim orders stronger strike power. Uh-oh month of May. You are sending B-52s to the Middle East against Iran threat. We know that there's a threat there, a terrible threat. U.S. sends naval strike group as tensions rise with Iran. Oh my, in India, in France, going on here, my oh my, I have to say that they hold the biggest naval exercises with one eye on China. Now this last one, Really moves my heart. U.S. pulls 90 essential staff from Iraq amid Mideast tensions. Our president is saying, we know that there is going to be a big war over there. We're taking people who are not essential in Iraq and we're going to bring them home. We don't want to risk their lives. Well, our president is doing the right thing in saving some of our people over there. But Jack, we see the buildup of Russia and China, and all the countries that you preached about and how it's growing. Russia's Gog of Magog in the Bible. China is their kings of the East. North Korea, all the same together, Russia and China. And Gomer is Germany, and they come along and join that group. And there's Tagarma, Turkey, that joins the group. But the worst thing is going to be Islam. For 57 denominations of the world right now, religious denominations, are Muslims. Terrorists! I will never talk against anyone or anything unless I got the newspapers, the media. Now, let's see what the media has to say on that one. Europe warns against Iran. Escalation as tensions mount. U.S. to deploy force in the Middle East to deter Iran. Iranian commander says U.S. forces must leave the region. What's this all about? Islam. Iran is the stronghold. But 57 denominations is 200 million. And they're going to use atomic bombs. Psalm 97.3. 
Isaiah 6, 6, 15, Ezekiel 20, 47, Joel chapters 2, verses 3 and 30, Zephaniah 1, 18, Malachi 4, 1, Revelation 8, 7, over and over and over. An atomic war. Millions are going to die. It's going to get so bad that the blood will flow to the horse's bridle for 200 miles in the Middle East. Israel is going to get it. The world hates the Jew, and God loves the Jew. Yes. You'll be seeing in the next few weeks, and I love the Jew. God's people. Now listen to me. All the headlines are telling us what ISIS is doing. All this thing now that just happened. Terrorism. Why? What's the four laws of Islam? Number one, you kill your daughter if she has premarital sex. Number two, you kill all homosexuals. Number three, you kill anyone in your own denomination, Islam, if they say one thing against Allah or Muhammad. Number four, you kill anyone who is not a Muslim. And they're going into the places. They are now arranging to kill Christians in 50 nations of the world. The plan is going on. I got all the documentation. The Bible says, reprove, rebuke, exhort. Do you know what those three words are? I mean what they are. Yes. Reprove. Rebuke. I'm going to do it till Jesus calls me home. I was under 14 death threats the last few years. And I got another one just a week ago. No worried. I go home to be with Jesus. But I will preach the word as it is, whatever the cost. And I want you folks to keep tuning in because we are going to see soon through this organization, the largest now in history, the greatest and biggest now we're going to have the greatest revivalist world has ever known. We know that's where the big war is going to be happen, and Israel's preparing. They won't let uh, them get the nuclear weapons out there. Yeah. At least they're standing up. But I want to go on to something Israel's else Israel's going to be victorious, yes, believe me. Will. God is on the side of his chosen people, the Jews, yes. and so am I. Yes, they will. I just quickly want to mention one more thing. You know, that things are happening, terrorism, not just uh, in, over there, but take a look. And Christians in Sri Lanka reeled from what happened in their church. They are shaken but not broken. I don't have words for what I saw in Sri Lanka. And going on, Sri Lanka on high alert as mobs attack Muslim communities because they're defending themselves. We're not going to stand up and let this happen. Buddhist mobs in Sri Lanka attack Muslim towns. Well, I want to tell about that. Going on, doctor. Uh, gun men kill six and burn down Catholic Church in Burkina and that Islam, is... Islam did it. <laughs> All right, Jack here, I'm going to turn it over to you in a moment, but second U.S. school district caught promoting Islam. Hey, wait, can you believe that? Shut the school down. They're Washington State, they're promoting Islam and that is something that our government is really, really concerned about. We don't want that in this country, promoting that, that uh, Sharia law. And then the Detroit News. One last headline here, domestic terrorism. Domestic terrorism, FBI says. Open investigations top 850. Can you believe it? Now, you know, friends, this is all pointing to the coming of the Lord. And Jack, you know, our time just evaporates. But we have to realize that all these signs point to the coming of the Lord. We need to be prepared. And I'm going to tell you something you can say all you want. I'm not a Democrat. I'm nothing. But I like the President of the United States now, Trump, and his Vice President, who is a born-again Christian, who has Bible lessons in his own home. And next week, we're going to quote him. Wow! He's telling us the troops he just lectured to on the great holiday and their service. Get ready to fight the next war. Mm. World War III, the bloodiest in history. And guess what? You won't be here if you're a Christian. God says it's a promise. I will keep you out of, yes. from the hour of testing that comes upon the whole world. 
idiots are going to die. 200 million at least. River of blood, 200 miles long to the bridles of the horses. Atomic weaponry on the lore. I already quoted the numbers where. It's going to happen. But guess what? Come up here there. The rapture. You guys are against the rapture. You know why you're against the rapture? Because the end of the church age. We have no longer a church. It's finished at the rapture. That war goes on for seven years, and God says, I'm going to keep you from it. You'll be up in space. Yes, amen. In heaven above. And then seven years later, you're going to come back. And then when he comes back, he says to all the believers, millions with him, all the dead from the past, now saved. And he says, on you the second death has no more power. Good news, Jack, and you know it is good news to know that Jesus is coming back very soon. Do you see all these signs, friends? If Jesus were to come and say, come up hither today, would, would you be ready? You can be. All you need to do is to be forgiven of the past, ready for the future, and have Christ in your heart. That's why he came, to be your Savior. Will you open your heart to the Lord right now? as Jack prays this prayer, accepting Jesus as your Savior. Jack. Listen to Jesus. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Oh, it gives you rest. Not only in this world, but eternal rest. You're going to miss all the wars, everything else. Get saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now should be saved. Father, we believe your word. It's so simple. We're only saved through believing, and if we don't believe, we're lost. Mm. Jesus, I believe in you today from the message of this dear man, Dr. Van Hippie and his wife. And I'm going to ask you right now, Jesus, because of that blood you shed on the cross for the 804 verses in the Bible that talk about it, 400 that you are the Savior, and 400 that is the blood of Jesus that say, Lord Jesus, that blood was shed for me, for all my sins. I accept what you did. Come into my heart, Jesus. I ask it in your name. Amen. Amen and amen. Hey, you just become a child of God and forgiven of all the things you don't want there. You don't want anybody even to know about. So write to me and I'll send you this wonderful, wonderful little book that I've said it many times. First Steps in a New Direction. You can be happy today having Christ in your heart. You can be joyful Amen. and know Amen. you're ready if he comes at any moment. Our mailing address is Jack Vanippe Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. And now, friends, oh, my, what a wonderful, wonderful offer we have for you. Thy kingdom come, arriving, arriving soon. Absolutely. 2,000-year-old prophecy about to happen. You know, this is something that Jack really has taught so many people. Heaven you transferred need to, have to this. earth. Yes, yes, you need to have this in your home. So here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. My friend, to order Thy Kingdom Come, arriving soon. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now back to Rexella. Thank you so much, Chuck. Don't put it up. This is a very, very important video. You'll want to have it in your home. I want to leave you with such a very good thought. You know, you can say, I can't do a lot, Rexella, but little things done in Christ's name are great things. How wonderful amen, to walk the Lord amen. this day and age and to be serving Him every moment of every single day. And you know, we always want to end our program by saying we'll look forward to being in your home again next week. And always remember, God cares for you. Oh, how good that is in this day and age in which we live. And so do we. 
so very, very much. And so keep us in your prayers as we come not only to your home, but around the world. We are grateful that God has given us the opportunity to give this message Amen. around the world. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.